actions that the U.S. could take short of tipping the balance of Syrian conflict that could impose a cost on them for abhorrent behavior. You also indicated that at least address the use of chemical weapons by Syrian forces. I think it was the appropriate decision and constitute both constitutionally and morally. Forcing Assad to change his calculation about his ability to act with impunity can contribute to his realization that he cannot gas or shoot his way out of his predicament. I think quite simply common sense and human experience and reality tell us that the risk of not acting is greater than the risk of acting. If we don't take a stand here today, I guarantee you we are more likely to face far greater risks to our security and a far greater likelihood of conflict that demands our action in the future. North Korea is hoping for ambivalence from the Congress. They're all listening for our silence. So the authorization that President Obama seeks is distinctly and clearly in our national interest, in our national security interest. The Department of Defense has developed military options to achieve these objectives, and we have positioned U.S. assets throughout the region to successfully execute the mission. We believe we can achieve them with a military action that would be limited in duration and scope. General Dempsey and I have assured the President that U.S. forces will be ready to act whenever the President gives the order. Chemical weapons make no distinction between combatants and innocent civilians and inflict the worst kind of indiscriminate suffering as we have recently seen.